apologize in advance for the whispering, but you'll see why I'm whispering in this video. Just a quick warning, there is vomiting in this video. I cut out the actual footage as much as possible, but if you are squeamish, triggered, or sensitive to that sort of thing, then this video is not for you. I was born with a rare genetic condition. I'm suffering does not define me. Olivia and I am free. This one's this time don't have a guide wire. Oh. This one's not the feeding kind, so this one's a little different. Same thing, just no wire. So about there. Is it gonna be going down this nostril? Yeah, because you got the right okay. the other one. Probably just be slightly more comfortable for you that way. Yes. Uh, do you want a straw? Probably yes, you please. So you're just gonna swallow, swallow, swallow. This one's a lot bigger than the other ones that I've had before, though. Okay. Yeah, if you've had the jejunal one, those are smaller. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, a little bit more. Ow. It's hurting my That's stomach. Good. Yeah. All right. Okay. This one's definitely bigger than the ones I've had before. Okay, so we just put a little piece of tape on your nose to kind of protect it from the pulling of the other tape, okay? Okay. And also I don't have a safety pin. I got you. Can we try to tape it down into the side? Yes. You okay? Do you need a bag? No. No? Okay. Just when it's in the middle, it's gagging me. Does it feel like I pulled it to the side? I need a bag, please. Please stay down, please stay down, please stay down. Don't want pain. This one's a lot bigger than the other ones I've had before. Sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna listen here and make sure it sounds like it's in the right spot. Keep this towel here because that, it might, some stuff might come out. It's definitely in my stomach. That hurt really bad. Okay. I'm gonna move this down on the tube because I feel like it's kind of too short and it's gonna pull on your nose. You should be able to pick up your head without pulling on your nose. If 
I pin it right there? Is that okay? Can you move your head and s um, as you want it, or? I don't know. Can I get some tissues really quick? Mm-hmm. Here, you hold down. I'll get you. Can you tape it, like, this, like, mm -hmm. down? Mm -hmm. Hold it, not right there, like, right there. And then oh, along no. the side of my face, so it's out of the way. That might be easier than the tape, cause for your face. You mean? Yeah. Okay. Um. <sighs> Look, we have a deadbeat in the top drawer in the basement right there. Do you want another oh, tubing? Yeah. This good. Comments if you want to explore. I'm just gonna move your hair, okay? I'm gonna put this right where your finger is at, okay? Is that too tight? Okay. This part here, I'm going to safety pin up to your gown. Okay. This tape is already coming off again. Can we just take all the tape off and retape it? Because it's all wet and soggy. Sorry. No, you're fine. Okay. Here, you can hold underneath it. I just need to cut right where your finger is at. You cut my finger off? <laughs> I sure hope not. Oh, my scissors came in anyway. Here, I'm gonna move your fingers real quick. Little piece of tape. Is there any tape on this inside portion? Because if not, I can hold my finger in there. Nope, it's just wrapped around. Are you ready? I'm pretty sure I got it all. I just gotta pull it out from under it. Ow, ow, ow. Sorry, okay. I know. <sighs> Hold on, let me dry it. Good idea. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna 
to take this little piece of tape off too, just because it's it's also wet. Yeah. Oh, that piece actually felt good when it came off. Oh, well, good. Those two are underneath the tegaderm, so I can't take them off. Sorry. Okay. I just have little patches. So somehow I gotta get this tape underneath of it. Can you? Look? If you tape it to the tegaderm, we'll be okay. This one I have to loop around this so that if it doesn't pull, that's all. The other one, yes. I'm sorry. There. Do you want another piece to hold that down, or? No, that's, that's good. Do you want a piece on the Tegaderm, too, or no? Um, maybe. The back over here is a little... Let me try and dry everything first. Yeah, I, feel like I see what you're a, talking about. It needs a piece here just to help it. Tegaderm, okay. There you go. And then it's um, safety pin to your shoulder, okay? Okay. Is that alright? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Okay. Maybe, can we get like one more piece of tape so it's not, because it's like pulling. <laughs> uh, never mind. Well, actually, can I place it? The tape, yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Don't look like pageant queen, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're all right. Okay. So, I got my lovely accessory placed. Take three. <laughs> okay, so I got my lovely accessory put in. It happened a lot sooner than I was expecting. I'm trying to get this video done fast because I still have to be hard to talk without gagging. And um, they're about to take an x ray to double check placement. This is a lot bigger than I'm used to because in the past I have had um, the feeding tubes and I can't eat or get feeds yet, yeah, not for a few days at least, so they've just been keeping me hydrated and my sugar's up through the IV. Um, this one is strictly for draining my stomach for eight hours or more every day. But anyways, it'll be inserting the insertion of this warning. I did puke when getting it placed, so if you are squeamish or sensitive to that, then this video is not for you. 
Um, anyways, I'm gonna try and get myself washed up before x-ray comes in. At the moment, I have since realized it's actually easier to whisper so I don't gag. So sorry for that, but it's still hard to talk. I'm trying to um, stay strong in my faith, and I've talked to the chaplain who knows me from my previous visits, and Still on the 